my arc of loving or of hating Rompo to loving him is like borderline internet famous at this point. Like the fact is, my ultra deduction is the best ability in this agency. I'm sure it's the best power in the whole country. God, this guy's like a cockier L. Although to be fair, the dude has a right to brag considering he's the only one in this detective agency with quote, deductive abilities. I feel like every detective here should at the bare minimum have deductive abilities. Good, well, you know, as long as you're aware. You're funny. It's odd that you call yourself the detective agency, because the rest of you have the combined deductive powers of a pack of monkeys. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, God, don't make me agree with this guy. With your ultra deduction skills, you can see right to the heart of a case in an instant. You're a role model for the agency. No, for all gifted people. Guys, quit gassing him up. This dude sucks. I'm not a two-bit detective. I don't need an assistant. Then why am I going with you? Simple. I never bothered to learn how to take the train. You buy a ticket and then you get on. Wait, you couldn't deduce that? How are you gonna roast the entire agency and then not have a basic understanding of public transport? Honestly, I was surprised at how naive Rompo was. He didn't know anything. How to buy a ticket, how to get through the turnstile, or how to figure out which platform to go to. You walk up to the person in a box, ask for a ticket, walk through the thing, and then get on the train your ticket says. Literal children take the train. A horseshoe crab could figure it out if it had to. Look, I'm not actually mad, I'm just lashing out because I know this show is gonna make me cry over this character at some point, isn't it? I don't know exactly how, but this is clearly setting up some sad boy vibes. This character is so cocky about his abilities, but so useless without them. That's some classic tear bait right there. You know you're late, agents. Now hold on, uh, who are you? Where's Yasui? Maybe you'd recognize him if you opened your eyes. The victim's a lady. Stellar deduction, what would we ever do without your powers? You realize there's no hard evidence. Would you like me to count to 60 for you? <sighs> I won't need that long. Oh fuck, okay, here we go. Y'all ready to get fucking deduced? Once he puts on those glasses, Rompo's ultra deduction is active. Watch him get it totally wrong. Like everyone at the detective agency is just pretending he has powers to make him feel good. His ultra deduction ability is truly incredible. Yes, but I might have figured out half of it too. Half of what? The case we were just working on. What do you mean half of what? Keep up, Atsushi. See, the truth is, Rambo isn't gifted with special powers. Huh? Oh my god, I was right! The reason why everyone at the agency respects Rompo is because they know his ultra deduction isn't an ability. That makes him more insufferable! Why are people lying to him and saying he has abilities? Wouldn't it make him feel better to know he's just naturally good at solving murders? Also, none of this information gives him the right to be such an asshole. Our city is safer thanks to his work and the power of his mind. He truly is a great man, don't you think? I don't think. This guy can be a great detective and not a prick. That is a very possible combination of attributes. We have to do something to help him. Do we really? Why is that? Huh? What do you mean? You guys are detectives. Helping people is like the one thing you're supposed to do. Besides, don't act like you don't need him, all right? How else are you gonna make your way to and from the train station? If you go, I'll give you... Mm. Praise. Oh, he loves it. Dude wants it so bad he opened his eyes. Ability. Ultra deduction. Oh, shut up. Really? We're still gonna go through this whole song and dance even though we know it's bullshit? Atsushi's location is right here. The boat's traveling at 20 knots, making its way toward the open sea. I can't believe people in my comments were trying to convince me that Rompo isn't a piece of shit. It took him 15 minutes to figure out where Atsushi is, but he waited six hours to do it. Oh, I'm so sorry it was such an inconvenience to put your dumb little glasses on and play pretend. Don't worry about him. I'm back! Look what I brought! Rompo's actually into it the most. Rompo would be! To think I'd receive a challenge from the guild. Hopefully this will stave off my boredom for a bit. Oh god, this is a Rompo episode? Are you the mastermind who issued a challenge against me? <laughs> it's been a long time, Rompo. This is a Rompo and Edgar Allan Poe crossover episode? Oh boy. Strap in. This has the potential to be my favorite episode of the series, or the most insufferable episode 
of any television I've ever seen. For the past six grueling years of my life, I have endured the crushing shame of being bested by the likes mm -hmm. of- Yeah, could you speed this up, please? You're boring me to sleep. You know what's weird? Why didn't they have Sir Arthur Conan Doyle be Rompo's rival? Why didn't they have Rompo be Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? He's already dressed like Sherlock Holmes. How was the killer able to leave the room after the murder? You're sitting there struggling with all these questions. Why don't you use your ability already? I've lost my glasses. Oh great, so Velma over here is useless then. Then how about the two of us investigate the crime scene and try to piece together what happened? Get real, that sounds so lame and boring! I don't want to do all that tedious work, that stuff's for suckers! Hey buddy, maybe next time instead of chewing her entire asshole out, what if you just said, I don't feel like doing that? The killer then used a string to pull the key under the door and returned it to his pocket. He cut the string, collected it, and disposed of it. That's pretty clever. I like that. That's good. Are you a complete moron? <gasps> what? No? You are a moron. The key's too thick to be able to fit under the door. Not only that, but the corpse was on his back and the key was in his hip pocket. I need to have the glasses the boss gave me. Or are you trying to say that he lied to me about all of that? Wouldn't it be better to know that you're actually smart rather than needing magic glasses? Why are we still keeping this lie? Also, I do just want to mention again, I love Rompo's voice actor. I need the glasses the boss gave me! I'm grateful that I was invited to the agency and met you all. Take the glasses! <laughs> So Rompo's arc in this episode isn't learning that he doesn't need glasses to be smart. It's that he can be smart with any pair of glasses. Baby steps, I guess. Impossible! You couldn't have solved the mystery! I'll admit, it was quite an impressive piece of work. He just made one mistake. Giving you access to glasses? That was challenging me. But actually the glasses, right? It's just... It's just what? I'd look really stupid if I turned out to be normal now. Oh, buddy, you do look stupid. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, true, Kyoka's probably the worst person to be trapped in this fog with. Oh my god, wait, you know what I just realized? You know who'd be the best person to get trapped in this fog with? Rompo. Not only have the gifted lost the use of their abilities, but they're being hunted down by them as well. Oh my god, please just cut to Rompo being alone and confused in the streets. Or just cut to him, like, swinging at something that isn't there because he can't cope with the fact that he doesn't have abilities. Ah, <sighs> well, I'm not a gifted, and I ended up back here fine. Oh my god, what? He just admitted it! Yo, what the hell? He knows? What a crazy thing to drop at the end of this movie. Also, did they change his voice actor? That sounded nothing like Rompo. I really wanted a Rompo scene though. I really wanted a bit where he's like, oh no, my ability is gonna be the smartest in the world. Where is it? Huh? I can't have you lowering our chances of success with your involvement. You're calling him fancy hat? I can't tell if that was intended as an insult or a compliment from Rompo. Like maybe Rompo respects Chuya as a fellow hat enthusiast. You wanna feel what it's like to be crushed by gravity? <laughs> Nothing's impossible for a great detective. Cut to Rompo's fucking corpse. Rompo can't even figure out how to get onto a subway on his own. If Chuya doesn't beat him, Chuya will have absolutely no respectability left within him. Do you like mystery novels? Cut to Rompo's fucking corpse. I can't get my fist out! There are a thousand characters in this one. And half of those characters are murderers. Oh, Chuya got poed! He got straight EAP'd! <laughs> oh. If Rompo really were to die in that world, though, what would I do with myself? Oh, that Poe and Rompo have this weird Batman and Joker relationship. One where Poe is completely obsessed with Rompo, and Rompo occasionally remembers Poe exists. We're the only ones who can make use of your powers. Get over here. From this point on, I've decided I'm going to start working alone. Oh 
my god, are we getting the president's backstory? I dare them to make this character interesting. This is the most boring character in the entire show. This is like my second least favorite character next to- She's a why are Rompo and the boss the only two characters in this opening? Is this a Rompo and the boss season? Is this a season about my two least favorite characters? The only redeeming aspect about Rompo was his voice actor, and I don't even like that anymore. You're on thin ice, Bungo. You better choose your next moves carefully. That's for you. Hey there. Huh? How old is Rompo? I thought Rompo was like 19. How is he the same age in Oda's backstory? Wait, how old is Rompo? Rompo is 26? He's eight years older than Atsushi? That's insane. This dude's got a whole ass 401k and he can't ride the subway on his own. Do you have any food? Pardon? Here we go again, looking down at me like I'm some kid. Okay, first off, ouch. Not my fault, you look like you're 14 and need a balanced diet of icing and gummy bears. Second, did they change his voice actor again? Cause he's sounding a lot closer to what he used to sound like in the earlier seasons. Plus, it's printed on thicker paper than the rest of it. No, don't! That was badass. What a clever way to assert himself as a girl boss. None of the documents have been stolen, and the assassin you have in the other room didn't kill the president. Like, you're the murderer anyway. Right, secretary? What a girl boss! What an absolute baby boss bitch! There's no way even the best assassin could get close to the president without being noticed. Just look, the door is right in view of his desk. Okay, but you guys live in a world where every third person has some sort of crazy literary ability. It's not that crazy to assume somebody could have snuck in without being noticed. Hmm, from the beginning. <laughs> the secretary was wearing a coat, right? When have you ever seen anyone wearing a coat while sorting documents? Your sleeves are getting in the way. What? What are you talking about? Arrest this kid! That guy just got murdered for sorting documents with a coat on. On a day that everyone agreed was exceptionally windy and cold. That- that's canon too, that's in the episode. So that's it? You're talking to a homeless 14 year old boy who's lost his parents, his job, and his future. That's all you've got? What a great sales pitch. I genuinely respect Rompo's initiative here. What a- what a great swing and a hit. A theater? I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but I do love this weird new aesthetic. Like the black and white with a few color accents, it, it looks super cool. It's funny though that they're assumedly doing this <laughs> for no reason. Like it's not like they're doing this to show us that it's a flashback. This isn't the first flashback we've seen. Man, grown-ups are so quick to get angry. Now I understand why you can never hold on to a job. Is it because he's a colossal dick? No, tell me. Some love affair. Maybe someone in the cast decided to sleep with a crazed fan. Or they broke up and decided to quit the play. Guys. Can I level with you real quick? I would be so down for a romantic subplot involving Rompo. Rompo finding a girl that's equally as obnoxious as him, but makes him happy anyway, would become my favorite media. A threat is, you better do ABC for me, or I'm gonna do XYZ to you. But right now, all we have is a warning saying we're going to kill one of the performers in your play. Nice, it only took four seasons for this show to say something actually clever. He's convinced that everyone else already knows the truth and that most people are simply pretending that they don't know. Okay, honestly, that was pretty good too. So far, the writing seems slightly improved from the first three seasons, but it's still losing points for that time Rompo had a guy killed for wearing a coat while doing paperwork. <gasps> I'm sorry, are you all right? Uh, 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 yeah, just startled is all. No one's ever screamed at me so loud that they knocked me off my feet before and broke all my ribs. What the hell am I doing? I had already made my decision and I decided I'd work alone. Imagine finding Rompo so charming you break your I work alone rule. Imagine being that bad judge of character. Why doesn't anyone get upset at being forced to sit through a show with such an obvious ending? Hey, stop. He's the murderer, isn't he? Why do you take Rompo places? Leave him locked in a room and bring him evidence when you find it. This guy's insufferable in public. Knock it off right this minute. But why? The supremacy of why is everyone watching this play without complaining about the dialogue? 
It really upsets me. Wow, he sounds like me every time I watch a new Marvel movie. I don't get it. I'm scared. It's like the world is filled with monsters. Monsters that only I don't understand. <laughs> what? Why am I almost kind of crying? Don't f- Don't- Ooh! Don't you start fucking developing Rompo! Alright, don't you fucking do it! I could no longer tell whether I was murdering for my country, or simply for the moment of the kill. Don't fucking start making me care about both of these characters! What is this? Don't- Don't fucking start caring about quality all of a sudden! I don't wanna care about these characters! Just wanna sit here and complain! Like a 14 year old on Reddit! All the other people in the world are fools compared to you. And that includes me as well. The reason you feel alone in this world is because you have a special talent that others only dream of. Oh my god, this is so crazy. He's the one who told him Rompo has an ability? Wait, this is so sad now that it's been revealed that Rompo knows he doesn't have abilities. Oh man. And so this, so Rompo's 14. So this is, he's 26. This is 12 years before present day. So that scene where Rompo kind of reveals he knows he doesn't have abilities is him being like, I spent 12 years like making everybody hate me and being an asshole. I can't go back now. I can't, I, I'll be the world's biggest idiot if I admit to it now. Why is this like the best content in the entire series? And it stars these two. I feel like, I'm really feeling like I've said that before. <laughs> when, when have I said that last? Like, there was another uncharacteristically good bit. Was it the backstories of season three? I'm the only one who's special. The truth is... I'm waiting. It's because you're gifted. I love that it took him so long to come up with that lie. It's almost as if he had a full anime internal monologue that we just didn't get to hear. Interesting. Here. I don't need glasses. Damn right you don't need glasses. Rompo just saw him pull those out without even opening his eyes. This shot of Rompo has to be self-aware, right? You mean everyone around me is just a stupid idiot? That's right. Just ignorant? So they actually don't know anything at all? Yes, that's right. Um, okay, wait a second. I think we're getting off track here. All that's left is for you to open your mind to the world. Open my mind to the world. You mean this creepy world we're living in? This creepy world full of dumb, stupid, ignorant idiots? All that suffering I went through wasn't because there's something wrong with me, but instead it was because there was something wrong with all the people around me? Y yes Sure. Sure. I don't know. I feel like this lie has gotten dangerously out of hand. Rombo's getting dangerously close to sending a few don't come to school tomorrow texts. Is that what that means? They are all nothing more than clueless children. Would a helpless newborn baby have the knowledge to despise someone? Yo, that... <laughs> that was so cool. No one ever really despised me at all. It was all in my head. Okay, thank God he took the right message from that. Things are pretty touch and go there for a bit. Don't worry about me. After all, you said it yourself. I'm the world's greatest detective. And I am on a mission to protect all of the world's idiots. I'm gonna say this once. And I don't want anybody repeating it. And I do not say this lightly. But I may be... Sort of like Rompo. I'll make it simpler for all your little brains. I'm gifted and a brilliant detective. Anyway, let's get to the part where it's all solved. Yeah, I hope you are regretting your choices. You're the one who ruined Rompo. Rompo's little breakdown at the theater was genuinely, like, goosebump-inducing. Dude, it was goosing bumps all over me. It was crazy. I don't know. I just love, like a deconstruction of a character trope, you know? Rompo is skyrocketed to being the most complex character in the entire series. I I wonder, if, fight me in the comments on that if you want. Cause I wonder if some people will say Dazai is, but I really think Dazai is like pseudo deep. I think Dazai is just like, I don't know, like Asada, Dazai is so like surface layer complex. I think Rompo is, like, actually, genuinely a fantastic written character. Requesting identity check. Hey, officer, are we there yet? Very soon, sir. 
Uh huh. Oh, let's go! Another Rompo episode! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. What has this season done to me? Don't you think so? I don't think that guy has any interest in working with me. Oh, why would you say that? If you ask me, that bodyguard is afraid of strangers. How is Rompo being lured into a trap right now? Shouldn't Rompo be the last person that can get trapped? Isn't he Captain Foresight over here? From what I understand, you have the ability to see the truth, don't you? You may say that, but you don't actually believe any of it. Oh, never mind, Rompo. Go off. My badge never have doubted you. I'm sorry. I guess I should have told you sooner. I won't make that mistake again. I received a dispatch just before we left. There's been an incident. Rompo, this guy literally started using his evil voice the second you got into a car with him. You're being lured into a trap! Anyone who adds a horny growl to their sentences is up to no good. This guy's borderline doing a Hisoka impression. I answered your questions, so why don't you tell me where this car is really going? Mr. So-called police officer, who reeks of organic solvent. Nice, big power move, Rompo, but still a pretty terrible idea to have gotten in the car with him to begin with. Especially considering that even if you manage to beat this guy, you are canonically incapable of finding your way back home. No. There are five guards. Magnificent! How did you know that? Because that's my special ability. Wow, the show don't even want to attempt to explain that one. It would be far more rewarding to join us than to team up with that dumb bodyguard boss of yours. Moo! Hmm? Did... did Rompo just... moo at him? Look, pal, I have a hard time paying attention to things I have no interest in. It just sounds to me like cattle mooing all the time. Moo! Moo! Yeah, I, I, I guess he did. I'm the one you're negotiating with. Anyone else might have started sawing you apart from your toenails up to your eyebrows by now. He's mooing again! Moo! Rompo, you're making it extremely hard to sympathize with you right now. If this guy starts torturing you right now, I'd have no other choice but to side with him. Are you alright? Yeah, sure. Wow, that went better than I expected. You arrived just in time, just as I- Oh, predict this, bitch! To hell with your damn calculations! When I got here, there was a gun pointed right at your face! That happened only because I knew you'd save me. Oh, oh, chill out. Re the fuck lax, Bungo. Oh my god, I got chills. That was heartbreaking. He cares about Rompo so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Settle down. I'm not trying to feel this frequently, guys. I don't care about your inner conflict. I'm here to make sure you're found innocent. The rats must have someone on their payroll who specializes in destroying evidence. Can we talk about Rompo's disguise? Because like, what the hell? Is he dressed like this to sneak into the prison? I guarantee you it would be harder to sneak into a prison dressed as Corduroy the Bear than literally any other human being. Like, what's his story? Do the guards think one of the prisoners got sent a birthday gram? Do they just let birthday grams walk into jails unaccompanied? Rompo, why do all this? Because it's my fault. No, I mean the bear costume. Why don't you just sign up for visitation? Gotta give those Tumblr artists something if we want a season five. Huh? <laughs> oh. oh, speaking of Tumblr, here comes our favorite pairing. And by the way, why are you dressed like that? Finally, I was wondering if anyone was ever gonna notice. <gasps> it's me! I'm the special boy who noticed! After I went against the boss's orders during the cannibalism incident, he forced me to work as the mascot of the company, so I ran away. Uh. You're dressed as the detective agency's mascot right now? So the boss forced you to be the agency's mascot. And so in an act of rebellion, you ran away. But you continued to wear the costume? Rompo, for disobeying the agency, I'm forcing you to be the company's mascot. What? Company mascot? I will not stand for this disrespect. Good day. Well, if you're gonna leave, at least take off the costume. I'm taking the costume. Everyone in town's been obsessed with it. The common theory is, of course. Oh, shut up! A mystery? You know what? I'd rather go home and play with the kids in the neighborhood. I'd rather you didn't, considering I just learned that you're 30. By tomorrow, I won't even remember I spent such an amount. What? Are you mental or something? But I got to see your rare exasperated face, so it was well worth the money. Is it just me, or is Poe just Dazai with longer bangs? Ah. Huh? Ah? Oh, nice.
nice. We're about to get an episode with the show's only two actual detectives. Can't wait for this to be fucking nonsense. <laughs> Say uncle and I win. Please. Please help me, Nora, before he passes out. Lady, you're the cop. Fucking arrest him. Don't ask the criminal to help you in this situation. I feel like any good lawyer could get this considered assaulting an officer. It came off as he was falling to the ground. He had it on when we saw him through the window. You observed that in the split second as he fell? Oh uh, yeah, and then he bounced off the balcony at like 50 miles an hour. I'm surprised he didn't explode, let alone keep his shoes on. Judging by how worn out the soul is, he should have been wearing this particular pair of shoes for quite a long time. It should not have come off so easily in mid-air. <sighs> it didn't! He struck the roof! Then they attached the fishing line directly to the mask, and adjusted its length so it would be seen on his way down. Despite me being a Boongo Stray Dogs veteran by now, this is somehow even beyond the caliber of nonsense that I was expecting. How is this seriously the theory you're suggesting right now? This wouldn't even work. This wouldn't even almost work. You might as well call this plan the McDonald's ice cream machine for how little it would work. I am not excited for the mental breakdown that this is setting up right now. Uh, I can't figure it out at all. Yup, cool, awesome, already so nervous. Okay, how about this? There's a bus station right around the corner that'll take you over to the train station. Make a ride at the corner. No buses, no trains, too much work! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fool! You may have countered Rompo's superficial powers, but you forgot his true ability. His ability to suck! And nobody sucks harder than Rompo does. Also, I've never been on one, so I don't know how to ride the train. What are you in grade school? I just can't fathom how Rompo doesn't know how to ride a train. Like, what do you even mean you don't know how to ride it? What is there to know? You just get on it and exist until it's your stop. What happens if there's a train-related crime? Rompo just has to sit it out? Tell oh, Mr. Rompo, have a nice rest of your day. Yo, please get in with him. Rompo, you gotta get in this car with him. Well, whatever. It shouldn't be a problem Driver as long to as the detective agency. Really Yo, let's go! Rompo sucks so much! Dude even has a lollipop right now. Rompo is sucking this man into submission. The answer is so simple. He killed and stole it from the author himself. Okay, I, I kind of thought you already knew that. But regardless, I loved this scene. I loved this whole interaction. I loved Rompo using his ability to be the worst human being on earth to his advantage here. His true special gift. That was so fun. Who knew all this show needed to like do a full bump up in my tier list of anime? was make Rompo the protagonist. He's just so much more fun than literally any other character in the entire show. And now that he's been given some like full on development and depth, he's just such a fun character to watch. How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to the Rompo Show. I call it Pungo Stray Dogs, uh, but considering that half the cast has been absent from this season, I'm a little hesitant to. So it's the Rompo Show for now, but thankfully, the Rompo Show is arguably way better than Bungo Stray Dogs. So I'm happy to be watching it. And I hope you guys are too. So before we get into it, make sure you leave a like on the video if you end up enjoying it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And now, let's get into it. The evidence destroyer and the murderer are the same person? Don't you think that sounds like a bit of a stretch, my detective friend? Did Rombo just bite the lollipop off of its stick? That means he's eating stick right now, doesn't it? He just chomped it right off. The stick to lollipop ratio in his mouth is one to one right now. Don't need a stick, Rompo. Come on, what's the matter with you? No, sir, because then they would have just copied all the pages. And at that point, I realized maybe they had to print it out in a hurry right before it was supposed to be handed off. What are you doing printing this thing five minutes before the murder at a nearby Staples? Don't treat your murder scheme like it's a book report for an elective class you didn't want to take. There was a specific reason to hand over all the original pages. And then if that's the case, the last page of the manuscript wouldn't have been thrown out. How am I supposed to care about this explanation? All I can think about is how Rompo somehow convinced this Staples to let him inside carrying a live raccoon. <laughs> 
Well, what do we have here? How is Rompo ever surprised when people are pulling guns on him? Considering he's constantly accusing people of committing crimes right to their face. This is the second time this season Rompo has gotten into a car unarmed and completely alone with somebody he knows is a criminal, and then verbally cornered them with no escape plan. Anything to say for yourself? I'm all talked out. I bet he has a lot to say, though. Would you please put that gun away, driver? Don't give the detective any excuses. An excuse to do what? Die? Definitely shoot him. He just figured you guys out. You're free to go. No, wait! So long, Rompo. Please give my regards to your co-worker in prison for me. You see, this is the problem with Rompo just theorycrafting all of these cases. He never has any actual hard evidence. All of his explanations are so abstract that as long as a criminal doesn't outright confess, they can't be charged with anything. My co-workers think I'm invincible. Impossible! A special ability! Ugh. Oh, whoa, is this Poe's ability? Can he suck people into any form of text? I thought it had to be a book. Reality looks like this. I see now. This is all the doing of one of the guilds gifted. We're inside Poe's novel. Oh, let's go. Big deduction. <laughs> Do you really think you've caught me with such a measly trap? As I said before, what you need is evidence. Buddy, if you think the police need evidence to arrest you in this world, you clearly have been paying attention. I imagine you're right, but you still won't leave here. <sighs> because once you finish hearing what I have to say to you, you'll turn yourself in. Once you finish hearing what I have to say to you, you'll turn yourself in. All right, what is it you have to say? Please, please turn yourself in.